Hi there again. So welcome back to another module of Oracle Apps GBA training. And in this module, we are going to look at file system and consoles. So in the previous module, we looked at installation of Oracle eBusiness Suite. And once you install, then you get a file system and services start up automatically. So in this module, we are going to look at how does that file system look like and some of the key important directories which will help you in understanding the file system or the application tier and the database tier of Oracle eBusiness Suite. So let's first look at what agenda we are going to cover in this module. So we'll start with the file system for database and application tier. So we'll first look at how does both database tier and apps tier look like then we'll discuss about dual file system so if you're coming from a previous e-business suite background like ebs 11i or 12.0 12.1 now in this version that is 12.2 you have a dual file system so we're going to discuss about that then we'll look at non-addition file system what exactly are the other file system and what exactly the non-addition file system mean then we'll look at various homes or top level directories in which we'll start with instance home. After instance home, we'll look at fusion middleware home, then apple top, common top and log home. So what does apple top contain? What does common top contain? And what does log home means? Then we'll look at environment files related to Oracle eBusiness suite, both database tier and application tier. And then finally, we'll look at consoles in Oracle eBusiness Suite. And we're going to focus at two important consoles, that is WebLogic console and Fusion Middleware Control console. And both of these con con consoles are available in R12.2 with the introduction of Oracle Fusion Middleware, WebLogic, and Oracle HTTP server. So let's first start with R12.2 file system. Now, this is how EBS file system look like. On left hand side, you have application tier and on right hand side, you have database tier. So when we installed Oracle eBusiness Suite in the previous module, we installed the database part and application tier both on the same host. And we selected the base directory as U01 app Oracle. So in that base directory, you will see the database as well as the EBS file system. Now, if you see on left hand side here on top bit, left hand side is exact same as the one on right hand side where I'm move, moving my mouse right now. So this is a dual file system, but I'm going to cover a little bit later more on what is a dual file system. But this is Oracle eBusiness Suite application to your side. And then you have at the bottom is file system non-addition which is applicable for this file system as well as this file system and this together is application tier similarly one on the right hand side you have the database tier and you have oracle database software depending on what start cd you do you might get a 11g r2 if you're using previous start cd like 46 48 or 49 but if you use the latest start cd the one which we have used in our installation now or are we using in the latest version that is start cd 51 as of march 2017 then you will get 12c database and at the bottom you have the data files so this is in actual when we installed this is the directory we selected we selected base as u01 oracle and we selected prd 12.2 so when installer installed, you got two first of all owners. One is Oracle and second is APPL MGR. So if you remember or if go back to the installation, we selected two user install. So there is a single user and multi user. So this is multi user or two user install where my database is owned by Oracle or database files are or data tier is owned by Oracle user and my application tier file system is owned by APPL MGR user. So the files belonging to FS1, FS2 and FSN 
underscore any non addition these are my application tier file system then i have two other files which is 12.1.0 and then i have data these are my 12c database files and cfg2 logs is another one so these are my three files now where cfg2 log is when i'm installing the database it creates some log files and this is for that so you can ignore safely ignore what you need to take care of is 12.1.0 and data so to correlate it one on right hand side represents 12.1.0 and data whereas the bottom side which is fs1 fs2 and fs underscore any is represented by here so this is my fs1 this is my fs2 and this is my fs underscore any this is my 12.1.0 and this is my data file so just to see the s underscore ebs underscore base environment variable or the parameter in my context file will cover or will explain what is a context file in later subsequent modules when we discuss about auto config but for now just assume that there's a environment variable which is s underscore ebs underscore base which is represented my by my the top level directory under which i've installed oracle ebusiness suite in that you have on the database tier 1210 directory and data directory so this 1210 is my oracle home for 12c database and in ebs you get 12c database when you install oracle ebusiness suite with start cd 51 or higher whereas my data directory this is actually the directory in which i have data files or the actual data is stored in the data file or dbfs in that for oracle database so that's my database tier then on the application tier i have file system one and file system two which is my exact replica or also called as dual file system why you need that we'll look at that in subsequent lessons and then you have fs underscore any that stands for non addition so any files which are common for both fs1 and fs2 and which you don't have any additions or you don't differentiate those two that are or those files are under fs underscore any again we we'll explain in detail in a little bit or in a short while what does non addition mean now this feature of having a duplicate file system that is fs1 and fs2 is called as dual file system so let me first log into the server and show you this database tier file system which is 12.1.0 12 and data and then we'll quickly have a glance at application tier which is fs1 fs2 and fs any and after that we'll discuss more about what exactly is the dual file system is what does addition based redefinition mean in the database in a high level layman's term we'll discuss this dual file system and addition based redefinition again when we look at the patching module so let's first log in to the server so if you notice now i'm connected to a server where we have already installed oracle ebusiness suite and the directory or this is my base directory in which i've installed oracle ebs 12.2 so you have u01 oracle prd 12.2 and inside that i have this is my 12c database that comes with start cd 51 for oracle ebs or higher the data is where my data files are but let's first go to 12.1.0 and this is my oracle home or 12c oracle home for oracle ebs database and if i go back to the data folder this is where all my dbf files or data files are for oracle database or ebs database then i have these three files which is file system one and file system two and these are duplicate or dual file system and fs underscore na is my non addition so if i do ls minus l then you have these two are file system one and two or my application tier file system the data is for my data file for ebs database fs underscore na is non addition file system 1210 is 12c database and this environment file 
is the file which we'll discuss a little bit later in subsequent lesson which and this file you get it when you apply 1225 patch on 1220 software so when you install 1220 you may not see this right now later in the patching module we'll be applying a 1225 patch and that's when you will see this environment file so if you don't see right now don't worry about it because this file will get generated or env file will get generated a little bit later so now let's head on back to the presentation so now what you see on the diagram or in the presentation is the file system of the application tier so on left hand side you see file system 1 and right hand side you see file system 2 and this is duplicate of or file system 2 is duplicate of file system 1 now why do you need that now in 12.2 oracle introduced a patching feature which is online patching that means you can patch an environment while users are using it so your running environment is served by this file system where you patch this and once this is patched your users can start working on this while you patch or sync this file system from the patch file system now we'll go and cover this in detail in the patching module but for now you have this dual file system which is a replica as a part of or to support the online patching feature at the bottom you have the non addition which will have files that are commonly required both for file system 1 and file system 2 and are not dependent on patch or are patch independent those things will come into the non addition file system now these file system will talk to the database feature called addition based redefinition again we'll cover that in detail when we go to the patching module but for now assume you have two file system which are replicated of each other we saw in the presentation or in the server that was file system fs1 and fs2 and in that you have oracle http server and weblogic we'll see in subsequent lessons what these are then you have 1012 oracle home and then you have apple top common top and instop so we'll look at apple top common top and instop a little bit later so now let's look at the key point for ebs file system first of all as i said earlier ebs r12.2 has dual file system on application tier and that is to support online patching or adop utility now these dual file system one of them is called as run file system and other one is called as patch file system so the environment or the file system that is being used by a running environment is called as run addition and the other file system that you can patch is called as patch addition and they switch the role or fs1 becomes patch and once you have done a particular task the patch becomes run and run become patch then this is to support online patching where there's a non-addition file system which is common for both run and patch addition and that is called as fs underscore any non-addition and this particular system or patch system has or non-addition system has application dba or ad executable or utility and then we'll also have the patch top in which you download the patches now there are other two things as well instance top and no support for read only that i'll cover maybe it'll come back after going through other after going through other lessons in this particular module and then you will understand what does instance top mean or apple top mean now this is another view of what we covered earlier your file system one file system two and then file system non-addition so now let's head on to the next lesson we will go deep dive into this dual file system what does file system one or fs1 and fs2 contains that is ebs apps directory inside that appl common 1012 and then inst and fmw home or instance home and fusion malware home so let's head on to the next lesson where we look at or go deep dive in dual file system